Hey, it's Coach Callaway. Thanks for joining us. We got a great video playbook lesson for you today. We're going to be discussing a play that Coach John Gruden made famous, Spider 2, Y Banana. In the Callaway football world, we call this our cowboy concept. So we're going to dig in. We've got a lot of great video, and we're going to discuss how to run cowboy out of different formations, using motions, and how to always keep the defense guessing. But before we get to it, we want to show you this quick message about CallawayFootball.com. It'll take just a second, and then we'll be right back and dig into the lesson today. Coaches, did you know Callaway Football is the nation's number one coaching resource? We have a tremendous network of coaches and are building a training center for coaches at any level. Inside our training center, you'll find lessons like our video playbook series, team management, practice management, and drills, coaching resources that are second to none, and much more. Successful coaches never stop educating themselves. So become a member and get logged in today at CallawayFootball.com. Thanks for listening to the Coaching Academy podcast on the Callaway Football Network. Relevant, educational, entertaining. Coach Callaway talking all things football. The quick play action. He throws out of the backfield. It's Young, the fullback. Darrell Young, what a gutsy call for the first down on fourth and one. He hasn't made many more difficult calls in this one. Spider two wide banana. Darrell Young for a critical first down. Because as always, the fullback in the flat is the <laughs> primary receiver. All right, Spider two wide banana. You gotta love Coach Gruden. As I mentioned in the opening, the Spider two wide banana concept that Coach Gruden's always talking about in the Callaway football world is our cowboy concept as part of our play action game. We like to run it out of what we call 34 or 35 Cowboy. We're going to dig into that in just a second. So our basic concept for us is it's a play action naked boot out of our power look or our zone run looks. And then we like to overload one side of the ball or one side of the formation, giving us a strong run look. And then we're going to boot away from that strong side or boot away from that play action side. And then we're going to get the back out in the flats with the under route coming in behind it. On this top picture up here, you can see the formation that Stanford used against Oregon State. You can see here they're in a strong left run, a run formation here. It looks like they got a strong power run coming off to the left, and Oregon State has shifted their defense accordingly because of that formation. Then they're going to sneak this back out in the flats off of the play action to the left, and he'll be wide open. We'll show a little bit of video of that in just a second. On this bottom picture down here is a high school team uh, that I coach. You can see here we're in our what we call yellow left formation, which again is a strong run look to the left, and we're going to dig into that on the play sheet right now. So here's what we like to do. We like to line up in yellow left, 35 Cowboy. Uh, you can see right up at the top here, that's the play call. Yellow left means that uh, we're lining up in the pistol formation with our H-back, which is in a sniffer position to the left, and the left call is means the tight end is also to the left. So yellow tells the H, he's on the left side of the formation, tells the F, our tailback, he's in the pistol, and the left part of that play call tells the tight end he's to the left. Our number one receiver, the X and the Y, are lined up wide out on top of the numbers in this. The 35 is the uh, split back flow call that we use. It also tells the offensive line that they're going to be blocking what we call inside zone five. So the five portion of that call means we're going to, OL is going to zone block sliding to the left. The cowboy part of that call tells uh, the backs and the wide receivers that the, what pass routes are going to be running in this play, which we'll dig into. And the play action is 35. So the running back, the F is lined up in that pistol, as I mentioned to you. And he's going to make a good inside zone five fake right here. Want him to roll over that ball. Want that quarterback to open up to that side. Again, make a good quality fake. And then the H, the 35, is our split back flow series. So it tells him he's going away from the five hole. And he's uh, flowing away from that. And he's running this arrow route right out here in the flat. So on the play action side of the play, the number one receiver, which is the X to the play action side, uh, has a post route. The number one receiver to the boot side of the play, which is a Z in our yellow left, 35, tells him he has a corner route. And then so we've got the play action here in the five, the quarterback boot. He's going to look low to high or short to deep. Number one receiver in the progression is the uh, back in the flat. And the number two receiver is the Y, which he is running away from the play action side, running across the field in what we call a crock route, which is about a 10-yard uh, crosser 
and he is the second level on this. So the progression is the number one is the back in the flat, and the number two read is the crossing route or the under route coming in behind it, and our alert would be the Z on the corner route. But we really want to look right here to this back in the flat and then progress to the Y crosser. Uh, if that alert is there, we've got the coverage we want, and they've got a blown coverage, we can always hit that corner route. We typically will not throw this backside to the post unless there's, the play breaks down and there's trouble and the quarterback's scrambling. We're really looking right here. One, two, and three is our progression. All right, so as I mentioned, you can really run this concept at every level of football, youth, high school, college, pro. So let's go take a look at some video examples and dig into it a little bit. All right, and this first video example is that Stanford versus Oregon State uh, example I showed you just a second ago in that still image. Again, Stanford is in a strong left power run look here. It looks like they're going to run power off to the left. So they're going to do play action right here. They're going to play action with the tailback off to the offensive left. They're going to really affect these linebackers. This fullback here is going to be the one that does the split back flow, just like we talked about in Callaway football's Yellow left, 35 Cowboy, how that 30 series is our split back flow, meaning the backs are going in opposite directions. That's exactly how Stanford's going to run it. And then number 82 right here, the tight end, is the one with the crosser. Again, the exact same concept I just showed you. A little bit different formation. Again, we have our, our H in the uh, sniffer position and our tight end as a stand-up guy, but really it's the exact same concept. So let's run it just to – I want you to look at these Oregon State linebackers as – as they open up here and show play action off to the left right there, you can tell these linebackers are affected by that play action. And here goes the fullback out in the flat, and here goes the tight end getting ready to run that second-level crosser. So as we run the play, let me back it up and let you see it full speed. So play action, back out in the flats, and they hit that second level right there for a touchdown. Now in this look here, you can tell – a little bit different formation. They're in a single back look. The uh, tight end right here, they're going to play action this off to the right. So it's going to be a, a zone run off to the right side of the offensive formation. Since they have no full back or no sniffer, they're going to use the tight end as the back in the flats right here. Since he's lined up away from the play action side of the play, he's actually going to block for two counts before he slips out in the flat. And the, the play action side tight end right here is going to be the one that is going to come across the formation and be that second level. So let's run this and take a look at it. Nice, easy dump right there. So I want you to notice this tight end right there on that as he blocks for two counts and he slips off in the flats. And you can see there's the backside tight end that was a second level player on that play. And they get a nice 13, 14, maybe 15 yard gain. Here's one more look, split back flow, play auction off to the left, and a nice dump and another nice gain off of the Cowboy concept. All right, in this next video example is from the pro game. It's the video we started the lesson with today where Gruden was talking about Spider 2, Y Banana. It's the Cowboys and the Redskins, of course. They got a lot going on in this play, very creative play, and a lot of things transpiring as they snap the ball to get the back out in the flats and be open. A couple things about the formation. They're running out of a two tight look. you got two tight ends with this eye backfield, one wide receiver right here, the number one wide receiver. First off, let's talk about the tight ends. The tight end at the top of the screen is the second level crosser, so he's going to come out and run that second level crossing route. The play side or the fake side tight end right here is going to be the tight end that's going to run the corner route, so he's going to release vertical and get into the corner. This number one wide receiver out here is going to actually run a crossing route going the opposite direction of the top tight end, the left side tight end. So they're running like a mesh concept, but this receiver right here is basically setting a pick against any linebacker that has this back out of the, fl out, out of the backfield into the flat. So he's going to run here, really create traffic, and set a natural pick as he tries to work himself across the field, and the back is just going to slip right out here into the flats. So let's run it and take a look at it. So I want to back that up. Again, I a lot going on right here. Notice on the bottom of the screen, watch number 12 right there as he comes, he releases, and you can see right there, he's really setting a pick as he's trying to run across, across or across the formation. There's that right side tight end running the corner route. Here's the back side tight end trying to be that second level coming across the field. And again, the fullback's out in the flats right there. So I'm going to give you one more look at that. A lot going on right there, but take a look at it here again one more time.
All right, and this next example is a youth team, a 7th and 8th grade team. We've had a lot of success at the youth and the high school level running these concepts, so it's not just a pro concept or a college concept. As I keep mentioning in all these video playbook lessons, you can run these concepts at CallawayFootball.com at any level of football. We've had a tremendous amount of success at the youth and high school level. So as I mentioned in the play sheet, we're in our yellow left formation here. You can see our H-back is in the sniffer position to the left. Got our tight end to the left as well. Our number one receiver out here to the right is the corner route runner. We're going to play action this off with the F or the tailback off to the left, and our split back flow is going to put this H right out here in the flat for us. So when we run this, look at these linebackers as we get this play going here. Let me get it rolling. Well, you can watch when we play action off to the left, these linebackers really bite. Right there. Look at all three of these linebackers are biting on that play action. So – this linebacker probably has responsibility in the, being the flat, but he has taken note of that play action fake. So here comes our F, just wide open, no one near him, and a huge gain for us on yellow left 35 Cowboy. Let's run it full speed for you one last time right here. Again, it's just a great concept. Here we go. Play action left, boot, get it to that number one receiver right there in the flat, and he's off to the races. All right, in this next example, the play goes bad for us. So I wanted to use this as a coaching point, give you coaches uh, a couple coaching points about the play. Again, we're lined up here in our yellow left, 35 Cowboy. You can see right here on our huddle <laughs> explanation, we got yellow left, 35 Cowboy. We've got a fumble here. So a couple things about the play. Uh, the quarterback, the coaching point I think that you got to stress is the quarterback, after he's got to make a solid play action fake, and really sell that play action. And then once he makes that play action fake, he has got to push off with uh, some velocity and really get some depth and sprint out, or he could have trouble from this defensive end right here. So we're going to run this play. <clears throat> I want you to watch here. As the ball snapped right here, the play action right there really is not too convincing, and he doesn't push off. Look as he turns. He turns flat. So as you look at this quarterback right here, I want you to watch him just turn flat, so no depth. So he just turns flat down the line, and he's got that defensive end right in his face right there. So the key is here, after the play action fake, he has got to push off right here on this right leg. He has got to push off with some depth and some velocity. So he needs to stick that foot in the ground, get some depth, and get out around this defensive end and boot and sprint out to get this back who's headed out in the flats. If you look at the back, look how open the back is. The back and the flat is always open. But this play goes bad because the quarterback right here does not push off and get any depth after that play action and gets hit right in the teeth. And we've got, we got an issue. So that is a coaching point. I wanted to share that with you. Make sure that quarterback, after he gets a good play action fake, that he pushes off with a little depth and has a sprint out and does not turn flat right there into that defensive end. I think if he got a little depth, he could outrun that defensive end to the outside, and we had this back in the flat wide open. All right, here's an example from our high school team. We're down here in the red zone. I really love this play down around the goal line in the red zone in short yardage. It's a great concept to run when you're going in to score or need a, a third and one, third and two type situation or a fourth a short type uh, situation you may find yourself in. Again, this 35 Cowboy with the play action when they're expecting run on short yardage or around the goal line. You got a good play action and that back in the flat is typically going to be open for you and let you get your conversion or get your score. So I want you to notice this back, how open he'll be. We're going to throw it to number seven for the touchdown. But as we just mentioned in the prior clip, the quarterback here is going to get a lot of depth and really sprint out on the boot. So he's going to go off the screen just for a second because of the way the video is here. But uh, you'll notice how much depth and the, the sprint out he's got on the boot to get away from that uh, outside linebacker or defensive end to throw this touchdown. So let's run the film right here. Again, boom, good fake, good sprint out, got some depth, hits that back in the flats, and we've got a touchdown. All right, one last example for you. So at CallawayFootball.com, we're going to show you, if you go out to the website, get logged into the training center, we've got the CallawayFootball.com playbook, and specifically you can get the uh, Cowboy Concept playbook out at the website, and it'll show you how to run this concept out of different formations, using motions, and getting really creative with the play. So I wanted to give you one example of getting creative with the concept, even at the youth level. So, of course, you can run this at the high school level or older levels, but even at the youth level, don't be scared to get creative with the concept. Again, you can get all that information and a lot more detail at CallawayFootball.com. So let's run this example. This is a 7th and 8th grade team we coach. 
So you're going to see a couple things about we're in our yellow formation. We do not have a uh, left call, so we've got a tight end. We're in what we call yellow closed. So here's our tight end. He's closed down instead of a stand-up receiver. Yellow, again, tells our H. He's in the sniffer position to the left. Now, on this concept, this Y right here, which is our tight end, since we're in our yellow closed formation, is the crosser. The Remember, the backside number one receiver, which is off the screen over here to the left. I'm sorry you can't see him. He's going to run that post route, if you remember, back to the play sheet. So we're going to play action to the right, and we're giving this defense a lot of eye candy with the H going in motion, what we call wiggle. So wiggle is uh, basically we're, we're wiggling to a predefined area, and so he's going to wiggle across the formation to right here and then stick his foot in the ground and then come back and be the back in the flat out here to the left. But you'll notice as we play action off to the right, we've got this wiggle to the right. We're really influencing this defense. They're coming off to their defensive left. So here goes the motion. You can see the defense really flowing left. They really are expecting a run right here. So you'll notice this linebacker right here, he's got a key that when our H goes in this wiggle more formation, we're running power to that side. You can see them coming right there. And then he sticks his foot and he's going to the flat. You'll notice this tight end right here. He's releasing clean, and he is going to be the crosser right there. Now, we're going to hit that backside number one receiver out to the left, which isn't on the screen yet on the post route in the back of the end zone on this play. But there's a lot of lot going on on this play right here, and we execute it perfectly and score a touchdown. So let's run it full speed for you. Watch the play action to the right. Watch the boot. Sets his hips, hits that post route in the back of the end zone, touchdown. All right, that was a great lesson for you today. Really enjoyed doing that for you. I hope it was beneficial. Hey, down in the comments section, we want you to comment on it. Leave your comments. If you have any questions, feel free to leave questions in the comments section on the YouTube channel. Or you can email us at info at CallawayFootball.com. That's I-N-F-O at CallawayFootball.com. Be happy to answer any questions that you may have after you watch the lesson today. Hey, and go out to CallawayFootball.com's website. This is a picture of it right here for you. You can get out to the website and get on that homepage and go up here to this training center and get logged in. As a member, we have free memberships available as well as a premium level membership that's only $59 a year. Gives you complete access to the entire website. And you can get that CallawayFootball.com playbook and the Callaway uh, – <clears throat> video lesson series and everything we've got out at the website for you. So make sure you go take advantage of that. I know it would be tremendously beneficial to you. So until next time, I hope to see you on the field. All right, don't forget to head over to CallawayFootball.com and get logged into our training center. It's the number one coaching resource on the web. Also, you can get the Callaway Football Network programs by downloading these apps at YouTube, Spreaker Podcast Radio, and iTunes, and catch our weekly Friday podcast every week. Don't forget to subscribe to the network at these venues and like it, comment on it, and share it all on your social media platforms. You can also follow us at Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at CallawayFB or Facebook.com slash CallawayFootball or Old Fashioned Way. If you'd like to get with us or have any questions, feel free to email us at info at CallawayFootball.com. Until next time, I hope to see you on the field. <laughs>